Okay, so there's seems to be a little bit of uh, latency issues. I don't even know if I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm just talking to observers, so that's a thing. Yeah, I think it might actually be me lagging, but like since Damon said he's good, I guess not. Okay, so we do have a proxied barracks, but it's strange because he proxied it after his regular barracks. So basically, not sure what exactly it is that he hopes to accomplish with this proxied barracks, but uh, should be should be pretty good. Um, this base is coming down a lot quicker for Damon, or for the barcode. Damon has not made any significant moves towards making an expansion. This Reaper is actually extremely low on health, and it has a kill, so I'm thinking two Reapers just did battle, and Barcode Reaper wins. I, I do believe that's what happened there. Um, so, we've got more Reapers. I'm, not, I'm still not 100% sure why Damon would even put this here. I mean, it's about to get spotted. So, like, if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna proxy a Reaper, do it first. Put the proxy barracks out first. Uh, that's that's what I'm gonna say about that. Uh, expansion started for Damon a little while ago, but thing is, Barcode's Protoss, Barcode's Protoss, Barcode's expansion's already finished. Um. That being said, though, there are two racks, one factory here, while Damon's only got one racks. Like, he's got two, but the other one can't really do anything. Okay, so three Reapers against two Marines, four Marines, and a Reaper. Technically, three Reapers should win this, but that all comes down to micro control because Reapers end up winning. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where Barcode decides to go from here because he has more production, so he should be able to outproduce at this point. But then, it, oh god, Damon's floating. Okay, he just he's not floating nearly as much anymore. It's because he decided to drop another command center. Um, okay, so he's doing three bases. I guess that's a thing. I'm not 100% sure about Darren sometimes. And then Barcode's over here just researching STEM. I think he's going to go for a standard push timing around the 13, 14 minute mark. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to end up playing out. Because honestly, I don't know why he's got this other expo. No starports. No starports, that's important to note. Neither of them have a starport, so no medevacs, no drops, no... No, none of that stuff for now, but I'm sure it's coming. Stem, about 15 seconds apart from each other. Um, plus one started for barcode, that's something to note though. But, the problem here is... Okay, four work, five workers killed. Damon's managing to... oh man, you don't want that tank there. You don't want to fight that tank. Okay, they get a Reaper and they're going to be able to just hop out over here. Uh, if he takes that route. Or not. Just going to hop up into the main. Take a look-see. Uh, a little bit of anti-micro there. Probably going to actually save some Reapers by not hop... by not trying to micro that. Okay, but the army supply is... 10 army supply in favor of the barcode Terran here. And... Oh my god, Damon. Uh, my tip to you would be, if you're going to proxy a Rax, first off, do it first. Second off, bring the Rax back home. You you don't want to make this out here. This is so exposed that it's it's not it's not good. Uh, you should not ever put this on a proxied barracks, unless it's like an all-in beginning type build thing, I would imagine. 
And there I go and analyzing the game again, but you know, I try. I try. Got some marines moving out here for burn the sky. And he's going to see this barracks. He's going to start poking it down. It's going to take him some time to do it. He's going to kill that marine. Poor marine. Just walks out instantly into death. And now he's going to have to run this barracks home. That could have been home a long time ago. And could be producing units. And I get the feeling he's actually probably going to lose this barracks. So that barracks goes down. And now Damon's lost a little bit of his production. He does have these tanks set up pretty well. Um, he's adding on two more barracks. He finally has a starport. And we see a starport with its reactor already done over here on Burn the Sky side of the fence. And another command center. See, that's why I don't understand kind of why he had this command center. Like, I understand you just want to spend your money. And you want to have as much stuff as you can have. But I feel like extra production maybe might have been a better option to go with since he's kind of done nothing with his command center. Okay, so the supplies are about even. Question is, the army supply is a little bit in favor of barcode. And Damon has a quite sizable worker lead. And that's because he's killed five. That kind of helps. So we see Barco down here. He's scouting around, checking for an extra base. And now he's going to take out these rocks. The question is, does, does Damon know about this? Damon doesn't know about this. He's going to be in some serious trouble. Okay, looks like he's going to opt out of killing the rocks. Oh, those marines are about to get chewed up by those tanks if he's not paying attention. Um... So there are two tanks. Oh. <laughs> I feel like Burn the Sky has really kind of cornered himself here. First medevac making its way here into the game. Um, so he's going to lose those marines. Chances are he might save that one. Oh. That marine has seen things. He went down to one HP. Uh, he's got a bunch of idle SCVs over here. That's probably from the refinery he lost right here. Now, destroying these rocks, I don't understand why he didn't do that in the beginning, because then he could have just walked up and down right here and not had to worry about these tanks shelling away at him. But, now that he's gotten rid of them, I'm imagining he's going to move the tanks up here, potentially, maybe. No, I think I'm going to be wrong on that. He might move them. He moved them kind of forward. He's going to start just kind of annoying this command center. Uh, doesn't really have much... Oh, there's a little bit of a drop right here, which is doing a little bit, but I'm sure that Damon will be just fine. He's got a bunch of Marines rally up here. They're blocked off from getting down there from the tanks. He's going to need to get that fixed. He needs those Marines down here. Uh, he's going to lose... He's probably going to lose this tank. Maybe, nope, nope, not gonna lose that tank. He's not gonna lose this command center either, he's got plenty of SCVs repairing. Uh, Barco is gonna lose all these marines, but as you can see, there's just nothing but reinforcements streaming across the map here. And he's just adding on more and more production, and he's taking his third, while making it to where Damon's only mining on one base, guys. And because of mules and everything, Terran mines out a bit faster, and therefore, there's really not too much left in the main. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, like, all of these SCVs aren't doing anything. It'd be nice to see them go back to the main, even though, yes, just oversaturating the mineral line, but it's better than having them sit right there where they can all be destroyed by these tanks and everything. Um, where did he take that command center? Oh, is he really going to try and take this? This would be super sick if he got away with it. There's a big engagement going on right here, while there's also an engagement taking on this third, but since there's nothing really there defending it, I'll sit right here. It looks like he's just going to pull the SCV and say, screw it, man. Uh, make the tanks shoot at each other, why not? Uh, it almost worked. He almost got two of the tanks. That would have been a nice pickup. And this tank right here, man. It's got like one screw holding the whole thing together right now with two HP. Like literally... One stray ricochet bullet could end up killing this tank. But I get the feeling it's going to live for now. 
And hopefully you get some SCVs over there fixing that tank. Okay, we're going to get the GG call here from Damon. And that will put the series 1-0 in favor of Burn the Sky.